Stag Nation, welcome back to the channel. Champions! Listen, the United Nations is a noble organization. Oh, really? <clears throat> yes, they are. Yes, they are. One yes, they are. that is supposed to be about peace and prosperity. And eliminating poverty. Mm. How long have they been on this mission? Before I was born. <laughs> okay. <laughs> How long does it take to at least make sure that the poverty is eradicated? Actually, it doesn't take that much. Mm. The only thing you need to do is to provide the people free markets. If an economy, if the market is functional, you see that you experience growth. Enable. This is why people leave and come to America. Because if the economy is moving, you see growth. You see China. There's productivity. You're producing things and you're trading. You see growth. It's called market enablers. Exactly. Let the people okay. to the India, work. Russia, Dubai. We see it over and over. Or if you don't have people that can do the work, then you let migrants come in and <laughs> chime in. <laughs> That's exactly what is happening. You know, the people of Dubai actually do not get taxed for anything. So a lot of them actually don't work. And this is why Dubai actually lets so many migrants come in. And, do the work. and they let them they do the work and you see it's happening but you know what though mm -hmm. with Dubai there actually was natural resources mm -hmm. that was energy consumed for them to pay the migrants in America we just spend the money okay <laughs> so at some point in time when you say that you are trying to accomplish this thing but you're never getting there someone is going to call you out especially when you step on their toe who? in this case who's that? we're looking at Teta <laughs> wow this guy's got some real backbones. USDT. Okay. I think that these guys are the OGs. This, I mean, clearly these guys are the OGs. This was the first stable coin. Not to be effed with. Right. So I imagine that um, however much Bitcoin that whoever thinks they have, these people have more of that and they just bought even more. They just bought, I think, 44,000 uh, last week during the dip. Listen, this thing, when you talk about depegging, I don't think this thing has been depegged before ever. Okay. Uh, we can confirm that but in this situation we see that you uh, tether is addressing the united nation and your claims on illicit activities involving usdt really okay who's the one with the real illicit activities well the guy you know <laughs> i just have one question for the un okay and please i hope they don't take this as me you know because i don't have backbone like like that <laughs> you know what i mean i don't have any but i just want to ask you guys one thing Illicit activity was existing before Tether. Okay? Illicit activity has been happening on fiat. I have not seen you guys come out and call the people who run the dollar. Because you know how much corruption they actually cut in the UN itself with uh, the fiat system? You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of articles on that. It's a lot of findings on that, not even articles. Yeah. So, that type of stuff washes away your credibility. Okay, that type of stuff just makes you no longer a reliable source of truth when it comes to society's prosperity. In this case here, we see Tether, which is a prominent stable coin, <coughs> has responded to the UN's claims that USDT stable coin is being used in illegal operations. I think they kind of zero in on the Tron one saying, especially on Tron. No, this is what's going on, man. You got to understand this. this it's, it's, it's a strategy, right? Mm -hmm. You saw him at the uh, World Economic Forum saying that cryptocurrencies were being used for illicit. Like they have gone to have one of these, their private meetings. Mm -hmm. And literally every institution that is either part of their, their partnership yeah, okay, has good, been yeah. given the subject matter of go out there and just keep repeating it and repeating it over and over again until the dumb citizens out there believe it. Mm -hmm. They are all saying the same thing. Absolutely. Jimmy Diamond says it. CNBC says it. Fox News says it. UN says it. IMF says it. Elizabeth Warren says it. Yeah. Say it all you want. That's not the fact, though. You really bring up a good point there. And actually... It kind of guided me into the direction of giving you guys a very strong example. If you just go back and look at recent history, you will see that Jamie Dimon, BlackRock, all these guys have been calling Bitcoin a scam for the longest of times. 
they have told people not to engage with Bitcoin. They have said Bitcoin is only used for illicit activities. Okay. If this is the case, why are we now at a point where BlackRock is offering an ETF for something that is used for illicit activities? Are you saying that these people are trying to promote more illicit activities? There's an ETF for illicit activities? <laughs> is this what we are saying? Please, let's slow down and think about these things. Woo! This is why we have this channel, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Because our money, our value has been enslaved by these people and their systems. And they are shaking in their shoes. Exactly. Because there's something else about to replace it. Systems like USDT are about to replace it. Think about the fact that you can send money across the globe on the Tron network. USDT with zero fees almost faster than the Swift system. Not you don't need multiple, multiple days for things to settle. If you're trying to track illicit activities, what you're supposed to be doing is to be investigating crime and stopping the people. You want to track their transactions? That is fine. You have to start by investigating the people and then understanding exactly how. They transact across the globe. And then you can now stop the criminals who are engaged in that illicit activity. The systems that they use, okay? Let me so let me just ask a question here. <laughs> Usually when you look at um, a lot of uh I don't know, well, not that I know of any mafia bosses and things like that, okay? But when you look at people who are criminals, maybe some of them like to all roll around in the Chevy Suburban. Maybe a lot of them go and, you know, get a Range Rover. The same sort of equipment that they use is the same sort of equipment that, you know, VIPs, you know, people in government would use, right? Trucks, armor trucks, you know, um, certain sort of luxury vehicles. Mm -hmm. Hanging out with your state rep. Exactly. <laughs> Or if they're trying to, say, transport some drugs across the border, they might use things like 18 wheelers, etc., etc. Why is it that there's not an uproar to stop companies from building any more SUVs or 18 wheelers because they are being used for illicit activity to transport drugs across borders? Sure. How about the banks holding the money? There is no uproar about that. HSBC, UB, UB, UBS. Right. You know, but this goes on. I would assume that they're not coming for the banks because this is just a platform. It is just being used by some people in the wrong way. Right. This has nothing to do with the platform itself. If people are using USDT for illicit activities, it has nothing to do with USDT. USDT. USDT is not going about encouraging people to uh, engage in illegal transactions. Um, the gun companies are not going around shooting people, encouraging gangs to go out and shoot each other. Okay, and more importantly, they are not out here trying to stop these companies from producing. Uh, any more Weapons. vehicles or any of the tools because these things at the end of the day are tools just like money is a tool as well they will tell you that in their financial education as well they don't tell you to go stop printing money because somebody's using fiat money for exactly so for, why, for, for, for sex trafficking exactly <laughs> JP Morgan so why is it that <laughs> when we get to Tether or when we get to Bitcoin they tend to targeting the tool as the culprit they've done it before remember they did that with the uh, file sharing yeah with kim.com yeah exactly same exactly. strategy the same strategy and let's point out that what happened is that they snatched that strategy from this guy turn it to themselves monetize it and it's now all legal free it's apple music <laughs> apple music spotify go on and on okay meanwhile in this response that usdt gave here and Double, give us your take on this response to these people here. He says, in response, Tether on the same day refuted the, US, the UN's findings, arguing that the report overlooked the traceability of USDT and its history of cooperation with global law enforcement agencies. Furthermore, 
It also stressed that there needs to be a discussion on how centralized stable coins could enhance anti-financial crime measures, right? They also pointed out that USDT has improved and simplified transactions for many developing nations, which has really elevated a lot of nations that were not included in the previous, uh, in the legacy financial system. Mm -hmm. Your thoughts, sir? <laughs> you would laugh. Viewers, you would laugh if I told you that if your bank investigated the corruption, which has happened several times, yeah. they keep the money. Most of the time, you don't even get to see that money. Yeah. This is after they found out what happened. But on USDT, not only once, but several times have they identified a scam or a situation and halted that transaction. Yeah. Ensuring that that transaction, like literally real, real time situation, altered it before the actual scam happened. Whereas the banks are over here reacting, eventually doing the investigation, finding out the situation, and not giving you your money back. Ask yeah. folks from Mt. Gok. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mt. Gok, they're still holding that money. That's all I have to say, really, yeah. at the end of the day. Their actions. Pay attention to their actions. Their actions speak louder than words. Look at SBF, clear scam. Yet it is questionable whether he's gonna be going to jail or going not. To jail or not. As a matter of fact, they're trying to bring FTX back. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is the environment that we live in, and this is why we do these videos because it is important for us to understand. We're living through monumental history right now. At the end of this whole thing, nothing is going to be the same. So what you want to do? is to position yourself appropriately so that when the dust settles, you will be ahead. We plan to be ahead, that's for sure. Being ahead actually requires that you position yourself by taking that thumb and clicking the like button. Oh yeah, go ahead now, it is there. Subscribe to the channel and share with your friends. That's what we want to do. Also follow us on Stackfin on X and of course Stack on Spotify. And we'll keep making these videos. If you find any value from it, please, please, please share it with your friends. Furthermore, we are working to position ourselves appropriately for the future, mm -hmm. right? And if you'd like to learn more about the things that we are engaged in, the things that we are uh, researching, sharing with our groups of friends and things like that, um, let us know. We're actually going to be sharing more information about that soon. You can hit us, send us a message on Stackfin for now. And um, we're going to have to have our email or something. Right. Uh, we'll actually, find something more secure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, yeah. yeah, we'll find something more secure and then we'll do that. Huh? Yeah. Cool. Until next time, ladies and gentlemen. Incredible one. Brazen out. Double O. Hey. Hey.